My name is Steve Dubin. Welcome to the My Pinnacle Network More Than One Minute Break. Uh, today we are bringing with us Dennis Riley, who is a longtime business coach um, and will talk to us today about his networking secrets. Dennis, welcome. Please uh, introduce yourself. Give us a little background. Hi, Steve. Uh, thanks for having me. appreciate it. Uh, my background is that, uh, like you said, I'm a business strategist, business coach, and I've uh, been uh, around for 26 plus years uh, as a business owner. Um, I love being a business owner and I take that enthusiasm and I try to help as many business owners as possible uh, to get their goals uh, complete as well. Okay, and, and um, a lot of networking is really getting to know, like, and trust you and having a better sense of who you really are. What did you do before business coaching? Oh, good question. I, uh, so in, I, I went to, to college uh, as a computer programmer, and I started my first business as a computer programmer. I started with just me, and I grew to 10 people strong, and, uh, and I, I've been doing that for a while, for over 20 years. Uh, before about 15 years into it, I realized that, you know what, not only was I helping people with their software needs, I was working with the business owners a lot. And, and basically I was taking the stuff that I was uh, doing with their, with their results of their software and we implemented into their business and business results. And that just was a nice little foray into being a business strategist. And so for a while I kept both businesses going, but then I just really jumped into more of the, uh, the business strategy part of things. Okay, great. And I saw a post recently by you uh, that talked about this is sort of potentially the golden era of networking, uh, in particular when everybody uh, is in uh, quarantine. Um, we have captive audience. Uh, we have opportunities to jump on Zoom meetings in a variety of networking groups. Can you talk a little bit about that and why you see it as a great opportunity? Sure. Uh, well, you know, before all this was happening, you know, we'd have to go to a lot of different uh, networking meetings and you'd get in your car, you'd, you'd have a geography that you mapped. How far am I going to go? Maybe an hour today or 20 minutes today. And you only uh, condensed in that ge ge geography. Plus, if you weren't a member of something, uh, you would have to join or you'd have to pay a fee. What's happening now is all of those places are now becoming online. So not only do you now don't have to get in your car, but now you, you're not limited. So now a lot of these places national wide, you can go and just hop in and, and, and uh, network that way. And I've seen a huge explosion of the people that I can get in front of now because it's so much easier to network. Okay. Yeah, I know. I think there's a lot of uh, sensibility to that. We're seeing in my pinnacle network, which meets once a month, uh, we had met, had, we had been meeting at five different locations for each of our groups, uh, but now we're using Zoom and we're finding we're having great attendance, great enthusiasm, uh, good dialogue. Uh, I think that people are connecting uh, with a little more thought and uh, gratitude than ever. So um, I, I agree with you. My other, my next question for you is, um, can you tell us a story about networking and how it worked for you and how um, it developed business for you? Sure. Um, you know, I've tried different uh, networking groups, as I said before, and one of them was a while ago, BNI. The interesting thing with BNI is that, you know, you go to a chapter um, and then you, you know, you go to the chapter once a week and so forth. And what I was realizing is, okay, there's got to be something more to this BNI. And I dug into the rules and they said, hey, look, you can go visit any chapter you want up to twice a year, as long as there's a conflict. What I did is, is I went online to BNI.com and I saw there were over 40 different chapters around uh, this area. And so I, <laughs> for one summer, I decided to hit 20 of them in one summer. And that's what I did. So I was, you know, unfortunately waking up at all these ungodly hours to get there. But the interesting thing, I started meeting people. And one person I met was a, was a younger gentleman who uh, was running a business. And we just started talking. He needed help with running the business. He was doing great with his unique skill set. 
but he needed help with that. So we started talking and that's how I formed a really good relationship with one of my clients. And so, you know, that story was interesting because when we started to talk, uh, I realized that he really didn't have a lot of time. And I was saying, why don't you have a lot of time? He said, oh, I'm going to school at the same time. And I went, oh, is this going to help? Is this degree going to help you? And he went, no. And I went, well, why are you doing it? He said, well, my parents don't think that I can make it on this business, so I have a backup plan. And I said to him, I said, is that what you want? Is that going to be your backup plan? He goes, no, I, I, can, I know this business will succeed. I said, why don't you put school on hold? It's always there if you need it. If you're right, if you're right that uh, you know, your business is thriving, then you don't have to worry about it. If you're wrong, it's still there. So that's what, that was a major decision that we made. And by doing that, he tripled his revenue the, the, the following year. Okay, yeah. I mean, I feel the same way about when I was uh, planning to be a pro basketball player. <laughs> Somebody decided, dis discovered that I was only five foot nine on a good oh, There you go. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about, I think part of networking is also being authentic and talking about the bad days as well as the good days, admitting your mistakes, admitting um, your challenges. Um, can you tell us a little bit about a, a bump in the road that you might have experienced along the way? A bump? I can list <laughs> 1,000 bumps. Uh, what happened is, and everyone does this, you know, when I started my business in 94, uh, um, you know, I was uh, in my 20s and, you know, I knew a lot about programming and I was darn good at it. And that skill set really helped me to do a great business. It never taught me how to run a business. You know, that's, that's, you know, that's the school of hard knocks, you know, so you get knocked down so many times and you, you know, you, you really learn. One thing that I really did learn a lot and to this day, I still, I think it's a great, great uh, theory to go by. Everything has a solution. You might not like the solution and it might not be a good solution that you want to do, but everything has a solution. So if you have that mentality and you're stuck with a problem, find a solution. It will be found. Doing nothing is a solution. So, you know, whatever you do, find a solution to a problem. And that has taken a long time to develop. But once I learned that, oh, I use that every single day. Okay, great. And tell us a little bit about, so we can help you, uh, what's an ideal client profile for you? Who are you looking uh, for as an ideal introduction to? You know, my ideal, ideal uh, uh, person is really a business owner that, that really is so involved in the business that they're really not looking at, they're spending more time in the business than on the business. And so what's happening is, is they're, they're losing uh, some momentum of in the future. And so I like, especially me, I, like I said, I'm a, from a computer person, I'm a data geek. I am a data geek like there's no tomorrow. Data to me tells a story. You just got to find what the story is. And then I'm a systems person. I love helping business owners implement systems because especially one of the things that I hear is, oh, I wish I can be duplicated. You know, you can be duplicated. Find the right system and you can be duplicated. And that's what I love helping business owners with. And if someone who is ready for that challenge, I'm, I'm there with them and I'm going to help them succeed. Great. And so uh, another sort of offbeat question, if you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would you like to be doing? You know what? I, I thought this is an interesting question because I really like what I'm doing. And so I, you know, I'm still going to be helping business owners. Now there's different ways I can help business owners and which, you know, I'm hoping soon that, you know, I can go and meet people and I can, talk to people and I can get in front of as many people as possible, meaning speaking uh, engagements, you know, being in front of uh, on stage with people. That's more people that I can help at once. That's the type of people that I want to, uh, you know, I want to help as many people. I said, when I started this uh, with the, with the business strategist, I said, I want to help 10,000 business owners. That's my goal. Now, am I there yet? No, but I'm going to get there. So the more people I can get in front of, the more people I can have speaking opportunities with, the better off that I'm going to reach that goal of helping 10,000. All right. 
Well, that brings us uh, to the exciting conclusion of another segment. I, I wanted to uh, just ask you one more question, which is what's the best way to reach you um, to contact you about business coaching services uh, and, and other things you can help them with? Oh, best way is to go to my uh, uh, website, goalstoresults.com. There you'd find um, uh, lots of different things, including uh, what packages I can offer you. Uh, also some uh, tips on stra uh, law strategies. I have a lot of videos to look at there. You can uh, reach me by at Dennis at goalstoresults.com. And also my contact information is there as well. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. This has been another episode of the More Than Two Minute Drill by My Pinnacle Network. I'm Steve Dubin. You want to learn more about My Pinnacle Network, visit us at www.mypinnaclenetwork.com. Thank you for listening.